At Corn Husker Auto Center, bragging is not our style, but that doesn't mean our customers can't. Great people, easy transaction, went out of their way to help. Thank you. Amazing place to buy a vehicle. Great staff all around. I would recommend Corn Husker Auto to anyone. Welcome to Post Game with Paul. I'm Paul Hughes. Well, matchups between Class C and D teams highlight this week's action in Northeast and North Central Nebraska. On the girls' side, our game of the week featured Class C number eight Pierce and the top ranked team in Class D, Humphrey St. Francis. Despite being one of the smallest schools in the area, St. Francis is the best team in this corner of the state, regardless of class. Of course, it doesn't hurt to have future University of Nebraska point guard Allison Widener in your backcourt. Last week, the Flyers traveled to Pierce and posted a 53-48 win over the Blue Jays. Widener and Pierce's Kinsey Moeller led their respective teams with 22 points apiece. While not into moral victories, Pierce and coach Darren Sindelar have to be encouraged by the Blue Jays' performance. The five-point margin of victory was St. Francis's closest game of the season. This week, the Flyers will be defending their Goldenrod Conference crown. The final is set for Saturday in St. Paul. Meanwhile, the O'Neill girls are 13-1 and, and appear to be the class of the Mid-State Conference. The Eagles have a big showdown set for Friday at home against West Point Guardian Angels Central Catholic. We'll feature the Eagles in the Thursday, January 20th edition of the Norfolk Daily News. Our boys' game of the week was a showdown between Wayne and Laurel Concord Coleridge. Both teams are coming off state tournament seasons in which the Blue Devils dropped a Class C-1 quarterfinal contest to Lincoln Christian, while the Bears culminated a great postseason run by earning the Class D-1 state championship. Last Tuesday, Wayne led by just five entering the fourth quarter, but increased its advantage down the stretch and held on for a 52-42 victory. Tanner Walling's 15 points led the Blue Devils, while Cale Hartung scored a game-high 18 for the Bears. Check out the Tuesday, January 19th edition of the Daily News Sports section for an in-depth look at the Wayne Blue Devils and Coach Rob Sweetland. That's Post Game with Paul. I'm Paul Hughes.